Good morning. 6 a.m. Headed to Palm Springs today. Very excited because this last weekend was Coachella and I just saw everyone posting being in the desert and it got me all excited. I'm not going to Coachella. I don't like Coachella. I went one year and I don't know, I didn't love it. I have no FOMO about going to Coachella. Just seeing people in the desert. I just want to be in the desert. So I did not sleep well last night. I tend to not sleep well whenever I have an early flight. Just anticipating it all night kind of sucks, but I'm up, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I would typically never do this, but I'm just gonna put a little makeup on because here's how it works when I fly into Palm Springs. The last few times, I'm flying in on a day where it's a turnover for my house. Someone's checking out at 11 a.m. and then cleaners come and then we can check in at three. Our flight lands at 11. So we're kind of just gonna land and have to go do something. But since the second we land, we're just getting on with the day. I'm gonna get ready a little bit. I also can't even believe it. I got upgraded to first class today. I barely have status on Alaska Airlines and I got upgraded. I can't believe it. Part of me like wants to get ready for this flight because it feels like a nice little occasion. I love this Hawaiian tropic sunscreen. It's actually a really nice moisturizer. I bought this in Hawaii and I always wear it if I'm going on vacation because it just now it just like the smell instantly makes me excited. It makes me feel like I'm in Hawaii for sure but Stopped and got a little breakfast, this uh, Greek yogurt and a kind bar. I also decided to get vegetables for Jason because he's on a veggie day. And it didn't say the price on them. And um, I'm thinking, you know what? Who cares anything for him? $10. Are you kidding me? $10 for one, two, three, four, five slices of cucumber. Probably about seven, eight carrots. Eight carrots and one, two, three. Oh, and you don't even like tomatoes. No, I'm not eating tomatoes. <laughs> I paid ten dollars for um <laughs> for these. <laughs> just got to my house and so renters checked out um, just this morning and they were at Coachella. I'm assuming it was Coachella weekend and we had the house rented for $1,500 a night, which is crazy. I know people are really curious like, oh, what's it like renting your house out at, during Coachella? Like a lot of people are afraid there's gonna be these horror stories that your house is gonna get trashed. Like personally, I'm not super worried about that. If someone trashed my house, like there are ways on Airbnb you can get your money back and things and kind of remediation stuff. Um, so I'll show you walking in what the house is looking like um, after people were partying up at Coachella. So walking in here, um, this plant is actually new. I don't know who left that, but okay, that's cool. Here we go. I mean, so far everything's looking pretty normal and very clean. Let's see how the fridge is. Yeah, looking good. Even like they always self clean the oven too. Okay, and the bedrooms. Here we go. Bathroom looks good. Looking pretty spotless here. Master. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it appears the um, toilet paper holder came off of its thing. So there's that. All right, let's go outside. Looks like they found the pool toys. Okay, there's a plastic cup on the ground. Ficus trees are getting 
so much growth, it's crazy. <laughs> Some random chips on the ground, just little things like that. This is a little suspect. This is a ball for obviously a dog, and we are not a dog-friendly Airbnb. Are there any bite marks? Um, yeah, yeah, it's like coming apart. Some dog was definitely gnawing on it. So that I will do some investigating on. Someone, I guess, spilled a pizza and didn't clean it up. Other than that, that's about it. So usually the cleaners clean the inside of the house and then my property manager like spiffs up the backyard, I would say. Um, but we got here at noon, technically like way early. I can't believe the cleaners even finished in time. Like it's fine that the backyard's not in like perfect shape. Like I came early, so. I don't mind. But overall, the house is doing fine and it's always so clean. The cleaners do an amazing job and I'm never like weirded out by other people staying because it's just a, such a professional clean. So I love that. I just sprayed off the cheese with a hose and that was really easy. <laughs> things in store. It's gonna be a little throwback. I think you guys will be excited to see what's gonna happen today. We're gonna golf at 3.30 today, so a little later in the day. All right, so we got organic free-range egg whites, a pepper, some collard greens. a beautiful plate of food. First stop today, I went on to put my swimsuit yesterday and Cowboy had chewed a whole arm off so I did not have a swimsuit. So I'm stopping to get a swimsuit. The weird thing Palm Springs is missing is just like a specialty swimsuit store. All I know is this one gift shop that does sell swimsuits so I'll get something in there. There's also an H&M but there's not just like a everything but water, you know, that type of swim store. And it's surprising. You'd really think that they would have that. None of those worked out. My confidence took a little hit there because I feel like those swimsuits ran really small. It was crazy. So I'm gonna try one more store. Looks like they got swimsuits. Good boy. Oh. Here we go. This place, Prickly Pear Boutique, they actually had really good swimsuits. I feel so relieved. Honestly, like if I wasn't gonna find a swimsuit, I was gonna start feeling really sad because those other stores, they were just like so unflattering. I already feel like I don't have like the most Bikini body, body type, oh, like, I, I don't know. I had never felt confident really in swimsuits until I found the brand L Space. They're the only one that every time I wear them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually feel great in this. I feel like it looks great. They look great on many bodies and they had L Space there. And of course, like I didn't even look at the tag, but of course I gravitated towards the L Space swimsuit and I got a cute one. So I'm actually so happy that that worked out because I was gonna start being like, dang, what's wrong with my body? Like, this sucks, I need to diet and whatever, but now I feel okay. Hi, girly! Hi, Barbie! Hi, girly! Oh, hi, baby! Hi! Hi, uh -huh, girl! Oh, my goodness! Uh -huh. <laughs> hi! So, um... I'm just house sitting Barkley for, it's just one night. Um, well, her owners are going out of town on like a little day trip type thing. And it's so nice, I haven't seen her in like so long. She's so cute. It's a little throwback if you guys remember Barkley. She uh, spends her time these days half in Palm Springs, half in Seattle. Barkley lives a good life, that's for sure. And my friends uh, redesigned their house here. I don't know if you guys remember old vlogs they redid it so it's looking very very cool just it's just such a gorgeous view out here oh my goodness this tree is just loaded up it's 
see what we can get. There's one. Come on. I did it. Hey, that's my grapefruit. One day, my grapefruit tree will be producing. But for now, mm. All right, what I got from this prickly pear boutique, I will show you. So both from L Space, it's not like super exciting, but this is just a black top. It's actually nice because I, you know, I like to dive and be like athletic sometimes while swimming. So this will be nice, it won't like fall off. And the back just has two little things right there. I like the fabric as well. You can see it's kind of like that ribbed texture. It just like fit really well, super cute. And then these are the bottoms, kind of similar texture. It's just like a little string on the side, but it still has very like normal coverage, but it's supposed to kind of like sit high on your hips, which I think that is a flattering look. Excited about this little swimsuit. Um, after having like zero luck, the other ones I was trying on just seriously made me feel like a stuffed sausage. Okay, our golf tee time is in an hour and a half. We wanna to go to the driving range, practice a little bit before. So we'll probably leave in like 30 minutes. Just ordered food. I got it from Tanya's Kitchen, which I like it. It's like a vegan restaurant in Palm Springs. I got the El Chupacabra, which is this delicious sandwich. It has like jalapenos and cilantro in it. I just love it. Postmates was doing a thing. If you buy $50 worth of food, they give you 25 off. We are only getting two things. It like amounted to $35. So I threw in a couple of random things and it just all equaled itself out. So I got, this is the anti-venom. It is water with chlorophyll. That looks like, it's so good. It has tempeh or something. I don't know what that even is. Okay, we were outside and Elvis was having some FOMO and he was being so cute. <laughs> Elvis, oh my God. I'm all dressed and ready for golf. I like this shirt, I think it's pretty cute, but this skirt I feel like is too big. I mean, it's it's really fine, but it'd be cuter if it were like a little bit shorter. You know what I mean? I'm gonna drink this scary anti-venom water now. Water and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, I know it's good for you. It's like that green stuff, but doesn't it just sound like poison? Oh, it has a taste to it too. It I mean, it tastes like tea. It's not like a weird taste. It's like minty tea kind of taste. Sweet girl, oh, 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 you should a good girl. I used to house at Barkley before I had Cowboy. Actually, you know, she's what made me want to get a dog. She's such a cool dog and I used to take care of her. And yeah, I like loved the feeling of taking care of an animal. I thought it was so cool. And I had never really done it before, oh hi. And having that companionship and everything. Barkley, I just have to thank you because you know, you, she, it's so crazy when you talk to her, it really seems like she's listening. Like she's just such a cool breed of dog. She's a coal retriever, so it's Border Collie Golden Retriever. Very shiny little. final hole. I thought I would take you guys along for the last hole. Today I've been doing, for me, just middle of the road. I got one par. It's just a par three, but I got it. This last hole is a par five and it's, for me, it's 465 yards. So this is a long boy. Good shot. 
My drive went 165 yards, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna use my three wood. I have like never used this, so I have my top flight set that I got at Dick Sporting Goods for $200, right? I got this when I very first started. I leave it in Palm Springs now and I have my new clubs in Washington, but I don't have one of these in Washington. And so I've been trying to try it out and I'm still quite far from the pin. So I'm gonna try it out. But if I don't do well, don't judge me because I literally have never used this really, so. Oh, it topped it. Yep. <sighs> okay, 180 yards out using my six iron. Oh. 85 yards out. Walking up to the green and the good news is I'm on the green. The bad news is I'm I'm just barely on the green. That was pretty cool for me though, to get it on the green, you know, get some really good loft in my club, all the things from 85 yards out. Like that's very new for me, okay? Like two weeks ago, I could not do that, so. And this is such a long putt, like I don't even know what to do. I'm just gonna hit it kind of hard. Okay. a little bit, probably twice as hard through that, but. Speed. Okay. All right. I got a seven. I'm getting so much better, and today was actually really fun. Barkley, it's been a pleasure, as always. <laughs> Golf was super fun, came back, chilled out. Barkley's mom and dad are gonna be home any minute now. Okay, until next time, I'll see you around, kid.